Yeah, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. J Pro, aka Jonathan Lewis, aka whatever you want to call me. But today, we are going to learn a very, very basic trick, a very basic tool that is right inside Final Cut Pro 10. How to cut the footage to the beat to make it look so dope, and it's so easy to use, guys. I use it in almost every project that I have when I have a sick beat. Pros use it, amateurs use it, but today, you guys are going to learn how to do it very, very easily. Once you get hooked on this technique, you are not gonna go back. It's too easy. So stay tuned and you will see how to do it, right? Okay guys, so as promised, we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna dive into Final Cut Pro 10. Boom. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna make it do its loading process. And as you can see, we have absolutely nothing loaded right now. So my libraries are gonna update itself. Just give it a moment. And boom, we're gonna make this full screen. And we're gonna go to a project that I think I think I'm allowed to use it because I didn't ask the couple, but I don't think that they'll have a problem with it because we got some very sick footage the day of. It's from Ali and Zara's wedding. So Ali and Zara, I know I haven't asked you, but um, I don't think you guys are gonna have a problem because you guys are super dope. So we're gonna dive right into it, guys. So um, we're gonna go straight to their stuff right here. We're gonna go from day one, okay? So they had a three-day wedding and that's not the point of today's video. We're gonna get right into it, okay? You're gonna open your timeline, and I'm gonna make a new project. I'm gonna right click on the footage that you wanna use from. I'm gonna right click, new project, okay? It's gonna open this. If you're doing 4K, you're gonna type in 4K in the resolution. You're gonna do whatever you need to do right here. I'm just gonna call it um, cutting it up. Cutting it up. Boom, I'm gonna make it a 1080 resolution 24p frame boom yeah so this is how i want my timeline to look like boom okay so now this is where the magic happens okay so you're gonna go over you're gonna go to your music that you want to use and i'm going to use this one because it has a lot of snares it has a lot of a lot of stuff that i like okay to make this effect look really good so this is how the beat sounded I like to dance, but that's not about that. That's not what we're here for today. So boom, you're gonna drag that song, that music, into your timeline. Okay, guys, that's the first step. You want to drag it into your timeline, and hopefully, you guys, I'm assuming that we know how to get to this point right now. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the footage. You're gonna go back to the first icon here. Let me drop these down to not look so confusing, guys. Sorry about that. Boom. So now we're just gonna be working with Zara and Al. So this is just. Assuming that this is where you want to get your footage from to make the cuts, okay? Now, using this icon here, you're gonna make your, you're gonna expand your timeline so you could see what you're doing, okay? You could see the beats, you could see all the cuts, you could see where it drops, you could see where it goes back up, you can see everything once you expand your timeline. Now, the first thing you want to do, the first step, step number one, is to this is, how, this is how I do it at least, okay? I know there's, there's thousands of ways to do it. This is how Jonathan Productions does it. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's no, there's no way. This is how we do it, okay? I right click on the song and I go all the way down and lift from storyline. So you're lifting the song from the storyline, you hit click, boom. When you lift the song from, oh, I, I heard I drive. Okay. When you lift the song from the storyline, you're gonna be presented with this gray box that is now over your 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 song, over your beat, over your whatever, okay? What you're going to do now, you're gonna hit function and back. So now you're going back to the beginning of the timeline, back to the start of the song. What you're gonna do at this point 
is very key because this is basically the first step of getting the effect to work. You're going to hold command. Boom, you're gonna hold command. So right now my hand is on the command key and I'm gonna play the song while holding command, okay? Now, for every single time that I wanna make a cut in the beat, or that's where I wanna make the, the, the cut of the footage to insert my, my footage, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about soon, but for every time you wanna make a cut, for every time you wanna make a cut, you wanna hold, you wanna hit B. B means blade, B stands for blade, okay? You wanna hold command and hit B for every time you wanna make a cut in your footage, okay? Let's see, let's see how, what's gonna happen when I do that. Let's play. Oops. <laughs> now let's play. Holding command, okay guys? Cut. 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 Boom. Every single time I heard the beat drop or I heard it make a sick cut that I want to make, I hit D while holding command, okay? So now when you do that, now you're presented with a very chopped up gray box over your beat. And these boxes, boom, 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 all these represent a time that you're gonna put footage in, which also represents a cut in the footage right on beat. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your footage. So boom, you got footage here, you got footage there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll, you're gonna skim through your clips to see what part of the clip do you wanna put onto the timeline. Now, for example, I wanna use this entry clip, okay? I'm gonna put it over into the box, into my first cut, and I'm gonna let go of it and it's gonna ask me these three, these four questions. Do you wanna replace this clip? Do you wanna replace from the start? Do you wanna replace from end? Or do you wanna replace, uh, replace with three time to fit? And what you wanna do is choose the second option, option number two, which is re replace from start, okay? That's, that's the best one to choose, okay? You can choose other ones, but they kinda will mess up what uh, the order, it will mess up the feel of the effect, okay? Because if you want the end of the clip, then you would replace from the end. But if you're skimming through and that is the section of the clip that you wanna put in, you go to replace from start, okay? Um, seeing that the clips that you're gonna be putting over the timeline, obviously it's gonna be over music. So to make it even quicker, I go over here and I click this drop down menu and I um, select video only so it's not gonna it's not gonna bring in the video clip and the audio it's only gonna bring in the video clip itself so that cuts down your time of trying to mute all the audio from that uh, specific footage so you click video only so now open my timeline a little bit more scroll through okay what do I want to bring in uh, let's go through let's go through just quickly um, let's just say I just want that clip of me right there. So I'm gonna, right there, okay? So that's the amount of time of the clip that I want. I'm gonna drag it down into my timeline and see now how there's no audio, audio, excuse me, stop. You see how there's no audio files in this one because I have it clicked on video only. Just an easier process, okay? So now, I don't have to do this now. See how there's no audio in this. There's audio in this one, but there's no audio in this one. Just it's, it's just it just quickens up the process, okay? So now you're gonna go through again. Mosquito man, my goodness. Sorry guys. Yeah, so you're gonna go through blah blah blah. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna put in whatever, okay guys. Like please don't judge me on um, these clips, okay? Please, they're not edited. You're gonna grab it. You're gonna put it into these boxes, and you're gonna choose replace from start okay so let's go again over here go again replace from start then scroll down choose the clip you want replace from start and i don't like this cut that i made here because another key thing to do is if you know the beat already before hearing it it makes it very much easier because you know when you want to cut it so i didn't really know this beat 
I, I'm using it in a current project, but I don't really know it so much to where it's gonna be cut. So sometimes I just guess it and then I mess up and it makes a bad cut. So it just goes off a little bit. So what I do to perfect that, to correct that, sorry, is I see how long this is, how long that actual cut is, and I just kind of replace it uh, right there. So I know that if I delete this clip right here, because I already found out how long the actual clip is, I just extend that clip 0.05 seconds. So I know if I delete this, I'm still in sync with everything um, for the rest of the timeline. So it's not out of sync, it's still in sync. Okay guys, that's, just, that's a quick tip. So now, boom, go back to DJ. Shout out to DJ Epic, by the way. Um, you're just going into every single box that you're going to replace from the start. Uh, you can go to different footages, um, you go boom, into the box where you made the cut, replace from start. You go to another clip, into the box, replace from start. It's a little bit of a process, but trust me, when it's done, it's so worth it. It looks so dope. You look like you made magic and really, you really did it. But anyways, um, replace from start in every single clip and I just want to show you guys quickly replace from start let me just speed up this process two seconds guys okay so guys I'm gonna show you quickly what I have so far and all this is is just cutting it on the beat no color correction no real editing so to speak it's just me making boxes over the beat where I want to make the cut and the drop of the beat and inserting the footages where I made those cuts. This is what you got. Guys, that's so simple. That is like crazy simple actually it's almost kind of scary simple how effective this technique is um, used in a lot of music videos and if you watch music videos now you're gonna be like oh my gosh yeah I see that it's it's almost in almost in every music video especially when it's a fast beat um, this is just the easiest way to do it in Final Cut Pro let me just finish this quickly to show you guys um, how it will look when you kind of I'm not gonna really edit it but just a minor, uh, a minor edit on it just so you could see how it could look finished up. This is what we got. You guys look like a professional. Now you're just about to give your client a music video. You're about to do your commercial looking like a music video and it all took five minutes. You just had to take that time to really understand the beat, hear the beat, know when the drops are gonna come to where you want it to come, where you wanna make those cuts. And you, you, you're looking like a pro right now, bro. Congratulations, you look like a pro. Let me just do one thing on this. One. So now I just wanna show you guys how I just wanna show you guys how it can look when it's completely done, okay? Um. Then boom, you got a music video. Just like that, guys, you're looking like a genius right now. You're looking like a magician. 
Anyways guys, if this video was helpful in any way, shape or form, please drop a like, please drop a comment, please subscribe, please do whatever you gotta do to make this get out there. If you are still having questions about how to get this done properly, or you have any other questions about Final Cut 10, I am the guy you can ask and if I don't have an answer, I promise I'll get the answer for you guys. Please make sure that you remember one thing out of all of this, you deserve Epic. Thanks, guys.